Okay, got a really simple, quick and easy how to change the alternator AC belt down here on a 99 Toyota Avalon. It has the three liter V6, which is gonna be the same as any Camry uh, as well, Camry and Avalon. So really super simple. All you need is a 12, 12 millimeter socket and extension. This is a wobble or a little universal would work just fine. Uh, and then down here, you've got a, um, let's see, right there, that right there is a 12 millimeter, um, kind of a jam nut on that sleeve. So that little metal piece, that little metal block will slide left and right in the video. It's more of an up and down in real life. Uh, loosen up that first 12 millimeter bolt right there on the square block. And then you need to loosen up, just crack it loose, this 14 millimeter right here on the top top ear of the alternator. Don't need to take it out, just need to loosen it up so the alternator will, will uh, pivot. And then you just start turning this bolt here with the wobble or the uh, extension uh, until the alternator will drop low enough to get the old belt off. So in my case, uh, still a Toyota belt. My guess is this is a 99, this is a grandma car. It's uh, just now turned like 80,000 miles. That's probably the original belt from 1998 or whenever it went through the uh, production line. So this went to AutoZone, got me a mid-level Duralast. You know, it's not the cheapest and not the, not the nicest. But anyways, we'll put that back on. It's super simple, it goes around the crank under the AC compressor, over the alternator, and that's it, basically a triangle. It's really super simple, piece of cake. Um, you know, I'm just kind of taking my time and I'm pushing 15 minutes into this. So anyways, that's all you need, a 12 millimeter socket, a 12 millimeter wrench, and a 14 millimeter wrench, and that's it. All right, so here you go, here's the new belt is on, it's still loose. I uh, just fished it on. What I did is I turned it sideways and went right down between the compressor and the side of the fire, inside of the engine bay there. Um, just fished it down sideways there, got it underneath that first, and then I got it around the crank pulley, and then I was able to get it up and over the alternator pulley. And these belts, you know, they don't fit until they do. And then once they kind of sink into place and those little ribs fall in, it just drops into place. And so that's that. I'll show you a simple, how simple it is to just kind of get this thing going back. And so all we're doing now, righty tighty, tightening up this adjuster. You might be able to see the alternator moving a little bit. Just tighten that up. Starting to get a little bit of tension on it. Just kind of feel it. I think, you know, you kind of want it to where you can just barely Twist it around, get some good tension on it. I can still kind of see the witness marks on the OEM belt. It's still, there's maybe one more, one more thread that's kind of shiny in this adjuster, adjusting bolt. And so I'll go to that and see where we're at. That feels, that feels pretty tight. So I may give it another half turn, quarter turn. I'll do a half turn. That feels pretty good. You don't want it super, super scorching tight, but you don't want it loose so that it squeals. Thanks for watching. Um, keep you going on some other grandma car stuff, but thanks again.